Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to learn the answer of this question. What is login in SSIS? How many types of login available in SSIS? Which one you have used? So first of all, what is login? Login, let's say you get up in the morning you and uh, you put an entry in some book and say, okay, I got up at this time. And then you do your breakfast, go to work and all the different activities you do. But every time you do something, you put an entry in a, in a file, uh, file or a notebook. So you are keeping all the records of what you had been doing over the time. SSIS is a program that also runs and load the data for us. So what we want to know, we want to know different uh, actions or different uh, tasks it perform and how much time it took for each of the tasks. So what it does, login is a way to capture the information while we run our SSIS package. So on each of the tasks, when it started, when it ended, uh, when the error happened, uh, okay, what was the error, what was the reason of the error, uh, that error, when the package completed, how much time it totally took. So all these questions can be answered by looking at the log file. One important thing we need to understand login is very helpful in the debugging process if you are troubleshooting what exactly went wrong when you are running your package the, the login is a way to go to that notebook and find out what exactly happened and what was the cause uh, for this error and by looking at that you can sort out the problem and uh, fix your packages and run them again uh, in production or any environment you are running in let's go to the ssdt or bids uh, and take a look i have a package created i have different packages created any of the package you can open in your uh, environment and then what you need to do there are two ways you can go to logging one you you are in the control flow pan and then right click and the first tab is called login you can also go to ssis and uh, the login is the very first uh, uh, option there so you can start login from any ways here in this question i'm going to tell you what are the types of login are available and which one you have used it and which one you didn't use it or you don't want to use it so i'm going to keep it simple as a question and answer not i'm not going to do a demo and uh, i will do the demos on different uh, types of login later sometime so here are the log provider so we can see that here we have five uh, one two three four five five different type of login available in ssis the very first one is called the ssis log provider for text files what does that mean so we want to capture the log information or the runtime execution information in the text file so if we want to do that that's where we will use ssis log provider for text file the next one is a SSIS log provider for SQL Server. If we want to capture the log information in SQL Server table, this is where we will use it. So we'll use the SQL Server and we have to provide the connection and it will create a, a table called Sys SSIS log. And that's where it is going to capture all the information for different events uh, that we want to put in. Next one is the SSIS log provider for SQL Server profiler. So this one will create a trace file uh, and then that trace file can be opened by SQL Server Profiler. Next one, SSIS log provided for Windows event log. So this is going to create or put the entries in the Windows event viewer. So that's where it will put the log information for your package execution. The last one is a SSIS log provider for XML file. This will be creating XML files for us and putting the entries of different events uh, uh, that we, we will enable for the login. Now questions come you tell the person okay in the interview these are the different five types of login. His uh, question will be what is the best option out of these? Or which one you would like to do it so let's start uh, what we don't like first uh, and uh, which we then remove those and then come up with the uh, with options uh, that we use very often so let's go to the windows event viewer now you are working uh, on the production and as a sql server developer how easy it could be for you to go and check the windows event viewer it's not going to be easy. You would not have the permissions on the production box uh, to go and check the Windows Event Viewer. So that's the option we can uh, right away. We can say we don't really want that one. 
because as a developer you have developed your package and then you want to see the log you want to have the access to it so windows even we're uh, even we're that's not the option in production for us uh, and it's a uh, kind of get complicated you have to coordinate with dbas and essays and uh, get that information so you might want to skip that part because you want to have the information so it's good idea uh, to you know it's somewhere where you can find that information quickly that you want to use next one you create the trace file by the um, by using the SQL server uh, log provider for SQL server profiler and then what you have to do you have to come to the profile and open that and then read it through so you are creating files and uh, you know different uh, then you have to initiate the profiler and that's how you will be doing it I still don't recommend that this is kind of two-step way to do it and we are not really uh, as a developers we don't use profiler a lot uh, as a DBS yes we do uh, you know use the profiler but still this is not very common solution that the people use for the login the next one is uh, you have text file text file we read on daily basis we have the logs for our applications we have a log for our uh, different programs and text file login is very common so this is where i will recommend and you can have share directory where as a developer you can have access if package fails you get the email alert and then you can go to that folder and check your files the best practices for the text file, log file login you will always create the log file let's say you want to have the log file with the package name and date time to it so you in, in one shared directory you can always sort out with the package names and date time the, or the execution time when the package uh, failed uh, the next part is uh, you are writing the data of different uh, packages to the SQL server login so that will be SSIS uh, sys SIS, SSIS, SSIS log table so that where you need to remember that sometime you have done a lot of selection in the events you are putting a lot of information I'm going I will go through and tell you what are the most important events that you need to log and uh, right now let's consider you, uh, you are running hundreds of packages and you're putting a lot of information so what is going to happen it is going to grow the size of the table so so does the size of the database will grow and uh, retention uh, we should have plan to purge these records we should have plan to delete old records so that, that's very important when it comes to SQL server you do not want to ran, run out of the space or uh, let your database grow so huge so if uh, nightly backups are happening uh, and that's uh, gonna start more ta start taking more time and uh, uh, you are wasting resources so you want to have a good plan for purging you want to keep maybe one week login and uh, then uh, delete the old ones every night and then we have uh, uh, xml files that's where, where we can log our file uh, create the xml files by using the login xml files also i don't really see uh, a lot of people reading xml files uh, it's not that normal but uh, still uh, people uh, use the xml files for logging best of the options what i have seen on different organizations i have seen two of these uh, text file that's the first priority the sql server is the second one and here when it comes to text files we create the text file with the package name and date time that's every execution so you will create a new logging uh, file uh, file and put all those uh, events uh, or information in that uh, thing so come come into the person you can always uh, come up with say okay text file login and sql server that's what i have used it or this is what i feel that's good idea to use it but still uh, come up with the purge and tell them okay you do not want to uh, have all those files sitting there for login or uh, sql server records for logs uh, forever so you want to have some purge uh, strategy on that one uh, on, on top of that you can add one thing i have a purge uh, old files uh, that's where you can define the retention and uh, the, the package goes and find out the old files and delete the old file according to the extension and all that you can always go and check that package and tell the people you have created a package on top of those login that was uh, uh, deleting the old files and keeping uh, uh, the things in straight and uh, uh, saving the storage and not uh, filling the storage uh, with the te text file login or SQL server table so you have good plans for both of them um, this is pretty much it uh, for the I, I know it's a long um, 
answer but uh, i would like to keep it short uh, you are not going to explain that whole lot you're going to say five type of logins are available and our best options are maybe go for text file with the date time and package name and uh, go for sql server because uh, the other three ones uh, is kind of get uh, complicated it's two step process you know uh, to open the trace files or event viewer and uh, xml files are also uh, in, in, it's not that uh, easy to read those tags and all so go with that Thanks very much and good luck with your interview.